easiest way to graph a piecewise function is if you just um, plug in the endpoints. Okay, so if you plug in negative 4 for x, we get the absolute value of negative 4 plus 2. And the absolute value of negative 4 plus 2 is the absolute value of negative 2, which is 2. So when x is negative 4, y is 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. We put a dot. Then we plug in the, the other endpoint. When you replace x with negative 1, you get absolute value of negative 1 plus 2, which is the absolute value of positive 1, which is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. So when x is negative 1, y is 1. Now be careful, you don't want to connect those dots. You want to see, is the vertex in between? Well, if we're going to draw the graph of y equals absolute value of x plus 2, that's the absolute value of x shifted to the left two units. So the vertex then would be at negative 2 comma 0. That's right there, negative 2 comma 0. We had negative 4, 2, and we had negative 1, 1. And now we connect the dots, but make sure you hit all three dots. So we connect those guys. This is the piece of the y equals absolute value of x plus 2 on the interval from negative 4 to negative 1. And now we do the same thing for the second piece. Now the second piece is linear. The linear function goes through negative 3 on the y-axis. It's got a y-intercept of negative 3 and it also has a slope of 1. So if it has a slope of 1 and we want to replace x with negative 1, negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. Down 1 and over 1 you can find the other point that way. Or what, oh, when x, yeah, when x is negative 1, if you replace x with negative 1 and subtract 3 from negative 1, you get negative 4. So we have this ordered pair, negative 1, negative 4, where there's an open circle there because it says x is greater than negative 1, then you're on this piece. Okay, so then when x is equal to positive 1, we have a dot because of this less than or equal to. So when x is positive 1, we get 1 minus 2 is negative 2. And so 1 minus 2, there's a dot. And we connect those three points remembering that x is not defined on this piece when x is equal to negative 1. All right? So that's the second piece. And then the third piece we see is also linear, which would, if we didn't have any domain restrictions, then we would say, okay, this function here goes through, has a y-intercept of 0, has a slope of up 2 and over 1, up 2 and over 1. It's defined between 1 and 3, so here's 1, 2 and 3. Now if you keep go if you follow the pattern of going up 2 and over 1 up 2 and over 1 there would be an open circle at the end point there an open circle at that end point if the line continued without regard for the domain it would go right through the origin and you would connect those open circles and connect that dot there in the middle so that's that piece of the piecewise function and there you have it. So that was three and a half minutes. I'll do another video for the last problem.